We're going to live stream every Rico Theta model capable of live streaming at the same time. If you want to live stream the X, the V, or the Z1, this is the video. We're going to live stream from Windows 10 laptop using the newest Rico software that just came out in February of 2022. Go to the download section of Theta360.com. So at the end of the list, in the lower right hand corner, there's this section about live streaming. Although the link says Rico Theta Z1, this is the same driver that you will need for the Rico Theta V and the Rico Theta X. We've tested it all for you. This is the driver. This will only work with a 64 bit version of Windows 10. It's possible you may get an older driver to work with Windows 7. Double click on the Rico Theta UVC driver setup. You should have version 3.0 installed. In addition to the Rico Theta UBC driver, this tutorial will cover the open source software OBS Studio. With the software installed, connect your favorite Rico Theta camera to your computer. In this case, it's a Z1 with a USB C cable. Notice that the camera will not go into live streaming mode unless the computer is fully on and you have a solid USB connection to your computer from the camera. With this in place, you will see a live icon on the camera body. The V will show a blue icon that says the word live. The X will also say live on the screen. You must put it into live mode by pressing the mode button on the camera. When you set up the sources, you may see this type of screen with this type of status message. I'm first going to go into the panel and debug this problem. To the left of the audio mixer, I've already set up my sources. When I select the device, there's this Rico Theta X, but it's not going to really work. I need to actually select the Rico Theta UVC as the source. So at this stage, I have two cameras that are streaming right now. And that's why you can see when I go to this outer view, one of the cameras is streaming. But let's focus in on the problem camera because this is why you're probably watching the video. So I'm attempting to press this configure video, but it's not really working for me. Okay, so I'm gonna select the custom resolution and then boom. Now when I configure the video, so I press the configure video button and then under the Theta UVC, I have two different devices. So I have a Theta X and a Theta Z1 that's streaming at the same time, or so I thought it was streaming at the same time. Okay, because I have custom selected here, I can select the resolution, I'm, I'm forcing it to do 4K. I've had to do this a number of times in the past where I had to force the manually select the resolution and not select automatic. I'm not sure why. It could be a bug in how OBS is working with the Theta. Okay, but now I do have the, both the Theta X and the Th Theta Z1 that's live streaming at the same time. So making some pretty serious progress here, the, the Theta X is kind of blotting out, or maybe the Z1 is blotting out one of the cameras. So I'm going to try to adjust the size of the screen so that we could see both of them on the same monitor at the same time. And after filling around the size for a while, I got both of them to appear on the same screen at the same time. And you could also turn them on and off, right? So you could flip between the two during your stream. Okay, so I'm gonna delete the Theta V as one of the sources here so that you can see me at it from the very beginning. So this would be the same process to follow for any of the cameras, right? So you have to click that plus sign in the sources to add a new source and then select the uh, the camera as a source. So let's let's get into that right now. So for the a new camera, or you know, if it's your first camera, you, you go into the plus select video capture device and then name it to the name of your camera. For example, I'm gonna now add a Rico Theta V, so I'm gonna call it Theta V. Again, this is the video capture device. Now on the drop down for the device, select Rico Theta UVC. For every camera you have, you have to select the same Theta UVC. And then the way to select the appropriate device is with the 
Configure Video button. Select Theta V as a device. And then in this case, I actually did have to, again, set the resolution manually. I'm not sure why this step is necessary, but I had to do it again. So just giving you guys that tip that, uh, you know, it should select it automatically, but I, I am having to select that 4K resolution manually. Now the Theta V is a bit big, but I'm just gonna make it smaller so you guys can see uh, that there's all three cameras streaming simultaneously. Uh, this would likely be cooler if the cameras were spaced out in different rooms. Due to time and USB cable constraints, I did just place the cameras right on my desk. So if you had all the all the cameras the same size, basically the, the stream the same size, you can flip between them, or you might want to actually see or show uh, multiple streams at the same time. It, it kind of depends on your use case. I imagine most people would flip between the different streams, like they might be in different rooms and you know, you can show or hide one of the streams for your audience. So just to show you my configuration around my desk so you know what you're looking at. So this is the Z1, I think. That's the V down there. Oh, okay, so that one's actually the X in front of my monitor. And to the left of that in the corner, I have my Z1. So when you're looking at the stream, this is where the cameras actually are. The one right in front of the monitor is the X. Thanks for joining us. Subscribe to the channel for more tips on using the Ricoh Theta cameras.